Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going back into the Harbor Freight website and looking at their new tool releases. So if you guys follow the channel you guys know I like to do this type of video every few weeks. Just kind of go over some of the new items and my thoughts and then hopefully get some of your guys thoughts if you guys have purchased any of these new items. So let's go ahead and get into this. We'll go to basically where I ended the last video at uh, because the new tools on the Harbor Freight website goes on forever. So first up we actually have a Chicago electric welding plasma cutter nice little 20 amp plasma cutter uh, I, ha I don't have any experience with their welders or anything like that but I do know a lot of people who use them uh, DIY work and stuff and they have had some pretty good experiences with them so if you guys have used maybe one of their plasma cutters I'm not sure what their lineup has, of plasma cutters even are but this is a nice little guy it seems to work on a good amount of everything it's good for cast iron steel stainless steel copper brass aluminum titanium and magnesium alloys so uh, a good variety it seems like a nice little plasma cutter for four hundred dollars then over here you just kind of have a few of the accessories you got the cutting tips and the electrodes here you have a hercules five and seven eighths metal cutting blade here you have a whip hose this is for their paint sprayers but this could be good for, you know, if you're running a pressure washer or anything and you want to run an inline like RV filter to kind of help reduce with hard water spots and stuff when you're like detailing a car or anything like that. This is good. You attach it uh, at the spigot at the at your house and then run your filter and then attach the your hose to the other side of the side of the filter. This is a nice little uh, adapter. It says it's the same size as any standard garden hose thread. So uh, it's five feet long. So it's a nice little... Uh, whip hose for $15 and then I mean <laughs> every time I click on the Harbor Freight website there's more sandpaper and more sandpaper I don't know how many different types and grades of sandpaper one can have or one can release it's like they're constantly coming out with new sandpaper I personally don't use the sandpaper from Harbor Freight I used it once like five six years ago and just didn't have a good experience with it, it just didn't last long it kind of fell apart um, but it wasn't the Hercules brand or anything like that. It was just the generic brand and I just get when it comes to that consumable stuff I just usually pick up some better quality stuff uh, Here they have a Bauer 8 volt cordless variable speed rotary tool so I had one just like this but the actual Dremel brand and I did not like it. Well, this one just plugs straight into the unit I had one that had a removable bat removable battery, but like it was horrible. I think I got two three charges out of it and then it just stopped working it wouldn't charge it wouldn't even start up after that and it's i did not use it for any sort of abusive work or anything so when it comes to these smaller battery operated rotary tools i just stay away from them just because of my experience you guys could have better experiences with them i do not after that experience i went and picked up the wen dremel which i've mentioned in some of my amazon videos you can get them for like 20 bucks and uh, it is corded but this thing is a beast and it comes with accessories just like this um, now it is corded but I've had this thing for ever since that Dremel went bad uh, so at least at least five years if not more and it's been fantastic but I've used it for a lot the hood um, port matching on my heads I mean a lot of different stuff these rotary tools are extremely handy so I would say this would be decent even if it does stand up, but it is $45. You can uh, find a lot of others in this price range that would probably be better, but who knows? I mean, this is a new product. It could be fantastic, but um, for that price range, I could get two Wen Dremels. Yeah, they're corded, but I'd, I'll deal with the cord rather than dealing with a battery or um, power loss from a small battery. Just my personal thoughts. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. It does come in a nice little case and everything. 65 amp plasma cutting tips here. They have a new Bauer half inch drive drill driver tool only for $60 That doesn't seem like a bad deal at all. If you run the Bauer lineup, this could be a good addition Delivers up to 60% more runtime is it's got the brushless motor. Here's some of the information on it If you would like to pause and take a look max torque of 405 inch pounds max speed of 1900 rpm two speeds 22 position clutch, you know half inch chuck onboard LED work light so it doesn't seem like too bad of a deal for $60. Here they have the 20 volt cordless three and a half gallon wet and dry vac. 
shop vac seems like a nice little setup i run the rigid and i absolutely love that thing that thing is a beast i think mine's a five horsepower but once again if you run the bower lineup and you're looking for something cordless maybe um, for just small jobs here and there i'm not sure how long the battery lasts on these but it's definitely nice for compact quick work or anything like that you get a locking attachment so it doesn't come off the shop vac which is really nice i like the design of it so 45 cfm six foot hose accessory holder lightweight design at 7.6 pounds but it doesn't necessarily say here's it compared to the ryobi so basically the same specs as the ryobi half a gallon bigger and uh, about a pound and a half less. It doesn't state what exactly the run time on the battery would be depending on the battery size, but I guess time will tell. So let me know your guys' thoughts. If you guys run the Bauer lineup, what are your guys' thoughts on it? Have you guys have good experiences with it? Is this something that you would consider for $70? Or are you going a different route? Once again, more sandpaper. I don't, I just don't understand. I don't know if they're different size sets that they're adding or what, but they are constantly adding more and more sandpaper. They've been releasing a lot of Hallmaster stuff too, a lot of newer stuff, uh, trailer attachments and locks and hitches and stuff like that. Uh, so definitely expanding their lineup of that. Here they have a Daytona 10 ton tow jack. That is a beefy boy right there, $350. I don't think I've, well, we've had to use some pretty big jacks on the, the semi trailers, but uh, I haven't personally looked at the prices of 10 ton jacks like this. Um, so it says the Omega here is $466, but that is definitely a beefy guy right here. It seems to be well built from all the images that I looked at. Now keep in mind, these are not light jacks. These things are, are pretty heavy duty. <laughs> here are some of their other Pittsburgh jacks. So lifts loads up to 20,000 pounds on the tow, 25,000 pounds on the head designed to have a longer seal life and optimum performance blah, blah blah dual lift positions rotary pump chrome plated ram spring assisted return here's the weight of it so basically 78 pounds so definitely not light uh not something that you're going to want to carry very far but that is a new addition to the lineup of jacks that they have at harbor freight here they have the three ton daytona heavy duty ratcheting jack i do like what they've done with the update I know there was that whole issue in the past, um, but I really like the design of these. I like how they have the reinforcement here at the base internally. Uh, I like the ratcheting mechanism and that they've double secured it with that locking pin as well. You kind of see a close-up look of it. It basically slides through one of the teeth and locks it in position. The picture of that key. So I definitely think they've done a good job re-engineering or redesigning these. I think they're going to be a good heavy duty jack stand. Uh, so, this is the three ton lift height from 11 and 3 eighths to 16 and 3 quarters. Solid steel body panels, welded reinforcement braces added for strength and durability. And this is a two piece set. So, you get two jack stands for $45. I think that's a pretty dang good price. Here they have a motorcycle wheel balancing stand. Not going to lie, I've never looked at those. I don't have a motorcycle, not into those. So, <laughs> 18 gauge professional air nibbler these are pretty handy to have uh, 70 dollars next up you got bunker hill security solar panel saw blades for the jigsaw and circular saw here they have a three inch roll lock backing plate those are always handy if you guys just watch my amazon tool video it'll be out in this week or next week uh, i actually have a set that i purchased with a bunch of roll lock discs and a backing plate and everything for like 15 or 20 dollars and they've been amazing i've had them for like two years but i guess you know if you damage one it's good to know that harbor freight has your uh, backup and then here i think we're getting into stuff i was ending the video on i know we've went over the soldering station here and this table not sure if we went over the brawn new brawn light this thing is a great addition i had the old lumaworks i think it was uh under hood light horrible light. I thought it was amazing when I first got it just because it was my first underhood light until I compared it to some others and it got blown out of the water. The battery life wasn't the greatest. You couldn't uh, use it while it was charging and the light just, it, it wasn't the best <laughs> by far. Uh, and then they replaced it with the Braun rechargeable one that was identical to it, just upgraded a lot brighter. Uh, you could use it while it was charging and this is the upgraded version of it basically. 
this is 1200 lumens so it definitely has a lot of light um, it is rechargeable once again and then here you can kind of just see the design of it i like the design of this i like the hooks on it that wrap around how they don't they rotate 360 degrees but then they also swivel as well so i definitely think this is going to be a nice addition i think it's going to be very popular this is what i use my gear wrench under hood light for anytime i was redoing the interior in the camaro i was installing the stereo and all of that like having the under hood light through the windows uh, is a lot better than trying to set up multiple little flashlights all around the vehicle to try and get lighting this thing makes it easy you don't have to worry about holding it knocking it over anything like that so it's great for not just under hoods but inside of cars as well so i do like that um, harbor freight basically got rid of the LumaWorks one like five years ago and they've introduced the brawn one and now they have an additional one which is even brighter extends up to 85 inches to fit most vehicles 360 degrees of rotation non mooring so it's got like, like the hooks are wrapped in rubber or dipped in rubber whichever one 120 foot range works while charging impact resistant rotating lens which is pretty cool it says clear clear striated and opaque variable light modes are high and low 1200 lumen output for wide area lighting so i definitely think this is a great addition to the lineup at harbor freight so it is 7000k natural white so it, that's that's a good light it's not like super bright white uh, to where it's going to be blinding you but it's not like that yellowish tint to it it's got a nice fair soft white but should be really bright i believe that's it as far as harbor freight's new tools i really hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please make sure to hit that thumbs up i will also have a lot of tools from amazon and stuff that i suggest link down in the description underneath the tools and tools continued link but if you guys enjoy these videos please drop a comment down below of your guys thoughts and uh i try and do these once again like every three weeks or so uh, i don't want to go over like two items so i try and save give it some time so we can at least go over you know five ten items so other than that if you guys haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys next time